Hey, what is up? Welcome to this video. It's going to be a really easy to follow process for landing portfolio projects for your web design business. I'm going to break it down, make it as simple as possible. If you follow this system, it's not going to be hard to get some real work with some real businesses in a very short amount of time. So check out the notes below if you need some extra help. I have this all typed up as well. If you're ready to go, let's jump into it right away. All right, step number one is to simply make contact. So really good principle when you're learning how to sell or grow your business is to break things down into separate parts so you can start seeing what's working and what's not. This definitely goes for landing these portfolio projects. You don't want to try and do everything at once. What a lot of people who are starting do is they try and do this massive big sales pitch right away. So they get on the phone and straight away they're trying to go into this big sales pitch or they send a massive cold email with tons of information. But what happens is if you don't hear anything back or if it doesn't go well, you don't really know what part of it worked, what part of it didn't. So it's best to break it down into little pieces so you can see, okay, this worked, this worked. Maybe I can do better here. This definitely didn't work. And then you can start figuring out where your sales pitch is weak and where it's strong. So with our approach, the first thing that we want to do is just reach out to the business and make contact. We don't want to try sell right away. We don't want to try pitch or make a price straight away. We just want to reach out and make sure that they're responding and that they're listening to what we have to say. So the first thing to do is just to reach out, make contact. So if you're sending an email, just send a very, very short email. I covered this in the last video. Check it out up here. I'll link to it right now. The same at making a phone call, the same at dropping in in person. Just make sure first that you have their attention, that they're responding, and then you can move to the second stage. All right, point number two is having a simple sales pitch. And if you want an actual pitch or a few examples, check out the link below, I'll have some in there. But basically what you're trying to do with this is keep it as short and concise and as obvious for them as possible. What I mean by that is you want them to clearly see that there's value in this for them, see how it's gonna help their business, see why they should do this, why they should give it any time or any focus. It's not about money most of the time because at this stage, you're not gonna be charging any money or very little money. It's about them just actually committing to this. You know, why should they do it? What's in it for them? Why should they give this any focus in the first place? So to have an answer to that question, you wanna have a very simple to understand valuable sales pitch. Hey, I'm looking to build you a portfolio website. It's gonna be good for your business. It's gonna help you sell more to sell to people in a better way. I'm willing to do that for this cheap price or for free because I want to use it to grow my web design business. Something as simple as that is going to be very, very easy for them to understand and to start moving ahead to the next stage of this process. So number one, make contact. Number two, have a very simple, easy to understand, valuable sales pitch to just basically tell them why it is that you're contacting them in the first place. All right, number three is to look for a specific problem. So once we've made contact, once we've explained why it is that we're reaching out, we wanna start asking them, do they have any problems with the business right now? Are they struggling to sell? Are they struggling to sell online? Do they have some clients maybe that don't understand their business fully or don't know about certain things that they do? Um, do they have a good contact system? Do they have a good sales system? Those sort of things. And we're looking for one or two or more things that they're stuck with so basically we can start helping to solve those problems. So your third point is look for a specific problem and you wanna keep it business related. You wanna look for something in the business that you can help with. Why in the business? Because that is what matters to them. Every business cares more about the actual business than they do the website. So you don't wanna just be selling a website because it's responsive or it's modern or it's fast. You want the website to do something for the business. So basically just ask them, hey, what's going on with the business right now? Do you see any potential to be doing things a little bit better? Do you think there's any way you could be selling a little bit more or selling a little more effectively and basically look for a specific problem to solve? If you find one big problem or a few smaller problems, you're well on the way to having something to basically use to create this portfolio project. All right, so stage number four is creating a simple solution. What you're gonna do in this stage is basically take all the problems that you just found about the business things that they said that they have an issue with, that they're trying to fix, that they're trying to improve, and you just start showing how a website could improve or could help to solve that, or could at least make it a lot better. So if they have a problem with customers who don't quite understand the business, you can start talking about, hey, on the website, we can have a page that shows all these different things. We can have some images. We can talk about the past projects, the past clients that you've had. You're basically linking the problems that they have to the website and showing how the website can help to solve 
those issues. It's a really, really simple, effective sales pitch for this stage. And it's something that, you know, a website can pretty much help any business. And I'm sure in the first place, you're looking for businesses with a bad website. So it's not going to be hard in this stage. Take the problems that you just found and start talking about how you would love to help solve those problems using this portfolio website. That brings us up to stage number five. All right, number five is putting it all into an easy plan. If you've been having this conversation with a business owner and they've shown you all these different problems, you've talked about the value that you can deliver using a portfolio website. Your main thing to do right now is to make it look and for it actually to be as easy as possible for the business owner to go ahead and to agree to work with you. So you wanna make sure that they don't just agree that the website is good, you want to address everything else as well. Explain how you're gonna approach this project, how you're gonna do it as fast as possible, all the different things that you're gonna do, uh, the few things that you would need from them, and then make it look as easy as possible. So draw up the whole plan, basically where you would go from right now to how things would look when they're fully finished, how long that should take, how that process looks. Keep in mind, you wanna do as much as possible so that there's not much of a burden on the business owner. You don't want them to be having to do all these different things and you're calling them every day and you're emailing for different information every day. You wanna keep it as easy as possible. The more value you can deliver with the portfolio website and the easier your plan, the easier it is for a business owner to agree to work with you. So make this whole deal super easy, super valuable, and a lot of business owners are gonna to agree to move ahead with this project. That brings us up to our final point, point number six, remove as much risk as possible. So if everything else has been going good up until this stage, if you've shown you know, all these different problems that they have, you've shown how the website can fix those problems, you've made an easy plan for them to follow, they're pretty much ready to go. The only thing that would hold them back is if they viewed the project as being risky or if they viewed you as being risky. So what you wanna do at this final stage is just make sure that they have no problems Ask them if there's anything that could be holding them back and address those different issues. You want to make sure that they see basically no risk. They feel 100% safe about this project. And the main thing a business owner is going to be worried about is you burning up lots of their time, you burning up lots of their focus, you not being professional, you not being able to deliver on what it is that you promised. So address all those different things. Let them know that you know there's no downside to this. You're going to make it as easy as possible. You're not going to require that much from them and they basically have nothing to lose. Again, if you don't quite know how to say that, just check out the notes below. I'll have some information on exactly what to say, but that's what you need to do at this final stage is just remove all risk. Make it look like a 100% good deal. You know They have all this upside with basically no potential downside. If you can do that, they're pretty much going to agree to the deal and you have your first or maybe second or third portfolio project. So just follow these six steps. It's gonna make it as simple as possible to land those sort of deals. All right, so a quick recap is to make contact, just introduce yourself whatever way you're gonna do that by cold calling, by cold emailing, by walking in in person. Then you're gonna give your simple sales pitch. Hey, I wanna help you with this portfolio project. Then you move into looking for problems, ask them what's going on with the business, what's holding them back from getting more sales or getting more sales easier then move into the solutions that you think a website could provide, how it's gonna help, all the different things a website can do, then talk about the overall plan, so how this whole project would go if they agree to the project, how you're gonna do everything that you can, how you're gonna make it as easy as possible, and then the last stage, remove any risk or anything that might be holding them back and basically show them that they got nothing to lose. If you can do that, it's very, very easy to land a portfolio style project at this stage, it doesn't have to be a complicated deal. You don't have to be using these advanced selling techniques that we're gonna cover later. It's a very simple deal. Keep it nice and easy, and you should have no problem in closing these deals. So that is it for this video. Check out the link if you want some extra information. I'm gonna put a ton of little kind of notes and stuff you can use in there. I hope you got tons of value from this. Let me know in the comments what you think and how this goes for you. See you in the next video.